Welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue multiplying monomials. The only thing is we're going to crank up the complexity a little bit and with uh, viewing and, and working these problems you'll get a lot of really really great experience. You'll get very very good at this. So what if you have m squared times n, that's one of the monomials, multiplying times m times n to the fourth power. So we want to simplify this. We're multiplying these guys together. Um, so uh, the only difference between this and the previous problems is that we have two variables. This is just a term, a monomial, and this is another term of another monomial. So when we multiply them, really what's happening is everything's being multiplied together. m squared times n times m times n to the fourth. So since everything's multiplied together, we look for the same base, and then we add the exponents. We have an m here and an m here. There's a first power, so we can add those together. m cubed, and then we have an n here and an n to the fourth. The bases are the same, so we add them together. 1 plus 4 is 5, n to the fifth power. So the answer is m cubed n to the fifth power. And that's really all you're doing. You're looking for the same bases, and you're adding the exponents together. What if you have... Uh, 4x to the fifth times negative 3x squared. You multiply the numbers, you can always do that. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And you have here an x to the fifth, so you have the same base as this. So these are basically the same base, and you can add these exponents. So you'll have x to the seventh power. 5 plus 2 is 7. So you have negative 12x to the seventh power. Uh, let's crank things up just a little bit here. What if we have negative 3 times x times y cubed times negative 2 times x cubed times y? Like this. Uh, first of all, you can multiply those numbers together.